Rose. Oh. Crying. Oh. And. Do you know what you want to hear? Do you know what you want to hear? Do you know what you want to Hey guys, it's Candy King Girl here, and today I'm with my best friend, Ella, aka Originally Me. And don't ask why I'm on her back right now, it's just a normal thing we do, you know, every single time she comes over. But, you know, today we're going to be doing some cool story times. Don't drop me. We're going to be doing some cool story times, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to see our very drama-filled stories. And make sure you like and subscribe. And Comment down below, and if you don't, I'm coming to your house. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm gonna <laughs> Girl, <laughs> if you pull any hooliganry <laughs> like that, I just bent down. If you pull anything like that again. Anyways, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, like she said, and stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, guys, so we're finally back, and now Her. it's time to start our, you know, Drama filled story time story. It's a lot of drama. Yeah. Well, her for me. For her. Yes. Yeah, we have to talk about that. That's why she's going first because, you know, it's very. Yeah. But, um, go ahead and y'all grab y'all drinks and stuff and y'all snacks because it's gonna be a little bit long of a story. And, um, yeah. So make sure y'all grab y'all drinks before me come and we sit down and listen to the story. Now that we have- <gasps> into my auntie's house um you know nothing really happened um but i had so much fun because like we were like playing around a lot that day so i had so much fun and i told my dad i wanted to stay over so he was like okay so um basically like we were playing that day and like um Magic's on the prime. wait did i even tell them what it was about no not yet oh Intermission, intermission. Intermission. So just know, like, it was a playful day at first, but, like, then it turned into something, something more. more. <laughs> so, um, basically, it was about a fight I had with a friend that I still talk to. But I don't even talk to her that much anymore. She was actually a part of an old friend group that we had that was me, Ella, and like two other girls. Yeah. But it just became the two of us because the Magic's other girls were toxic. <laughs> and, but that's another story time. That's, that's another story time. No, that's way too much drama for you guys. Like, y'all won't be able to handle that. Very good. So, yeah. Long story. Very long story. So, basically, um, yeah, like, it was a playful day. I wanted to stay over. And my cousin decided to tie both of us up together. Like my wrist? 
with the both of us, like with the hands and the legs together. Oh. So we had to get out of that. You know, we had to try and get out of that. And then like, so like this was like five o'clock. No, this was like late at night. You just know it was late at night. And basically we were up, you know, we were joking around at first. Like I had my phone and it was okay. So then like everything started to get heated once the point where she started to get mad because me and my cousin like we would joke around with her and she would like take it really seriously like it, this was not no magic like extra type stuff because don't don't say the name don't say the name don't say we're the gonna, name we're gonna bleep that out yeah but, um but rachel i'm gonna say her name is rachel rachel Rachel, uh -huh. she was like a really like she really took everything so serious. Now this we weren't even joking about like oh like really to get mean with her. We were just joking because like when she jokes, she like she be going extra hard. But we were just like this is a normal thing for us. Like we would just joke around and she would laugh about it too. This wouldn't even be too much, mm -hmm. but she started to go in because like my cousin that was her child for some like you know when people play around yeah like kind of like role play yeah role play in person so that was her child and like she like would kind of like be mothering things or kind of like be a big sister at some point um so like when you know like you make fun of your little sister but you're not really trying to make fun of your little sister. Yeah. Yeah, that's her thing. So she started to get mad and she decided to talk about my family. And plus she lived at my family house, so why would you sit there and talk about my family? Yeah, like that's disrespectful. You know? So like she would like she would like I was getting so irritated and my cousin was literally like fight, fight, fight in the background. I'm like what is wrong with you? I wasn't even trying to fight her for real, but like she just kept going. And then she decided to start cursing. So when she kept on like doing that, I was like, okay, what's up? Like, you're not about it. Like, what's going on? Like, come on. Like, what's up? Like, you want to do something? She was like, yeah, what's up? But like, she wasn't, you know, getting up. So I was like, get up right now. My cousin was like, do not fall on my bed. Because it was a bunk bed. You know, my cousin slept on the bottom. She slept on the top. Um, and Rachel, um, she wasn't doing anything. So I was like, what's up for real? Like, what's like, what you want to do? I pulled her off the bed. <laughs> and I started punching her in the head. And in the face. My cousin recorded it. But, like, I don't have the recording anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and like I was going at it and she started crying did you? why would I cry? <laughs> like you like I'm pissed like I'm mad like so I'm going in like I'm really wanted like I want I wanted all the smoke because you're not going to sit there and talk about my family right in front of my family and like you live in my family house Yeah. like come on now so I was punching her and we ended up landing on my cousin's bed. Wow. So yeah. So she turned in like she's like, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. So she's like, Ella, get off of her right now. So I came up off of her. She was like snot coming out of her nose. Ooh. Crying. Ooh. And I was just like laughing. So I we all got water and stuff. My cousin decided to hit me with a hanger for falling on her bed. But like wow. I was laughing after she hit me with the hair because it was just funny to me how you was talking all that smack and then Then she started crying. crying. Like, come on now, like I don't play about family stuff like I don't do that. Yeah. Um just know remember she was crying, okay? Remember that. So we're drinking water and I was like all up in her face. I was like, bro, why would you sit there and do that? Like, you think you were about that and you're not. So I was in her face. And this girl spat water out while she was drinking. And I literally took her by the head and threw her into the dresser. 
I threw her into the dresser and I started punching her because like no you're not gonna do that wow. and then hair came out of her head Ooh, hair literally came out of her but I was like I didn't care and I was laughing about it too because you're not gonna do that so yeah and my like uncle stuff like my uncles and them had came at that time so we had to be like a little bit quiet but um and then after that we had round three three yeah round three so round three so basically i was like yo for real what's up i need you to actually fight back with me and stop crying the whole time and she got up and i was like okay what's up so i punched her and then she kicked me into the dresser and then i kicked her in the stomach and fought her on the bed and yeah and then after that, we had round four. This time, it was my brother there. Really? Mar was there. So basically, so she had told my dad about it. Really? She told my dad about it. She was like, oh my God, they were bullying me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you sat there and talked about me and my family the whole time. Now you're going to play in their face? Like, come on now. Play victim like for real so round four and like we we're all there and it was like so pumped up ready ready for the fight so i threw the first punch right and i threw her into the door on accident i didn't need to do that really because by the time my dad was like whoa whoa wait 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 so he stopped playing the game from outside and came to the room and like slapped me on the leg but I was like laughing too because like it's funny mm -hmm. how you gonna slap me but like you don't really know for real he was like stop fighting stop fighting you don't need to fight so yeah that's basically what happened you guys that was story number one now it's time for story number two wow all right y'all so Y'all tell me how y'all think that story number one was in the comments. And now let's get into story two. So, story number two. Um, me and a couple of my other friends from orchestra were walking down to practice, after school practice. And I, I think it was after school practice. Like, this wasn't long ago, but it was Magic a while ago. Prime. We get to the door and there's this kid that's like walking out angrily and then my orchestra teacher is asking him like what is your name what is your name but the kid doesn't answer and he just leaves right but i remember what the kid looks like and is wearing and stuff and my other friends they're like yeah well what's going on they're confused too but you know we're like whatever right so i believe it was me my friend pearl my friend ao and my friend Kizzy, I think, but they were there. And then we walk into the room and then we see my friend Kaylin crying because she was she already got there before us. And we're like, Kaylin, what happened? What happened? What happened? And she's like, that kid that just left, like he threw a chair at me and it hit me in the head. And she had this really big wound on her forehead, like right here. And it was bleeding and stuff and she was crying. So my friend Ayo, he goes out and he starts like, running down the hallway to go look for the kid and then I was gonna go with him but he was already gone down the hallway and like I know Ayo so I know he was probably already gonna go catch up to him and stuff so I stay with Kaylin and the others and I make sure she's okay and stuff and you know like she's explaining to Mr. Webb what happened she's telling us what happened so kid walks in the room having a big fit and like yelling and screaming for no reason at all and he starts running around the classroom wreak, wrecking havoc while Mr. Weber isn't there and Kaylin tries to run out the room to go tell Mr. Weber what he's doing because he's yelling and screaming in the class for no reason and he like pushes a chair at her and like she trips and it hits her head and stuff so yeah go out to the hallway and then Ao comes back and he's like I found the kid and I gave him black eye like he punched him and they were like oh my gosh dude no way that's crazy so he told us that he found the kid and he punched him and we're happy because we're like well that's great that kid got what he deserved and stuff you know 
At first, we didn't hear about the part that the chair was like directly aimed for Kaylin. We just thought that it got thrown and then it hit her. So yeah, but then we found out that he was actually trying to get her because she was gonna go tell Mr. Weber what was going on. And then that made all of us really mad. So she stayed there and we all went looking for the kid, right? Ayo ran off in the same direction looking for the kid. And then I catched up to him second and then Pearl caught up to me, but me and her went to go look for him. So like, we go and we're walking back down the opposite side of the hallway and we're searching for him and we go through the library and we see him like trying to catch his breath and stuff. And he's like, I found the kid again. And I pulled his hair out and I gave him another black eye. Like I punched him again, but he kind of need me because he's taller than me. And we were like, wow, that's crazy. You didn't really have to do all that, but that's crazy that you stood up for your friend like that. That's great. And yeah, that's kind of where it ended. Kizzy wanted to go look for the kid again and go beat him up again. But I mean, at that point, like Ayo said, he saw him go down to the bus lane. So he probably left after he pulled his hair out. And yeah, that was an interesting day. Yo, that was a lot to take in, to be honest. It was. Like, punched him twice and gave him two black eyes. Yeah. Pulled his hair out. That is crazy. Honestly, this is just from my perspective. It should really be Ao giving the story time of what yeah. happened. But it's just something that came up on the top of my head. I'm like, it's an interesting story, so I thought I might share it. Right. With you guys. Y'all just put y'all in comments. I'm y'all <laughs> thoughts in the comments yeah, put y'all thoughts in the comment below. What did y'all think of both of our stories? Yeah, and was it giving or was it not? Yeah. And also, should we do another story time like this? I know y'all might want to hear about why we all... Um, oh, yeah, about about how yeah. the friend group just became yeah. the two of us. Like, our old friend group. Yeah, literally, like, none of them talk to each other now. Yeah, so. but we really only have each other from that friend group. So yeah, it's a very interesting story, but it we can't is. really get into that right now. But we can get into that in the next video. But yeah. we have another video coming for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, but anyways, I love you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's story time video. It's not really like any of the other ones I've posted. It's kind of new and I'm doing it with my best friend. Ella. She's my sister, actually. I'm, yeah. I'm I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, put your thoughts in the comment box down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.